Good morning. Here we are together, day 19 of this 30-day morning yoga challenge. This 10-minute morning yoga flow is going to help energize you for the day ahead and hopefully get you feeling really good. Each of these days of this challenge are themed around one word intentions and the intention that we're working with today is compassion. So this is what our class is themed around. I want you to really have compassion for yourself as you move through these poses. And then we're gonna have a daily challenge. Part two of this in another video, the flexible mind video is going to give you a challenge again based around compassion. So we are going to start in wide like a child's pose. We're gonna add a side bend to it. So big toes come together. Knees as wide as you would like them to be. And instead of folding directly forward, we're gonna start by walking our hands over towards the left and reaching and crawling the right hand out as far as possible, while at the same time pushing down on your right hip. So don't let it lift up. So stretch that right arm out as far as it'll go until you get a nice side body stretch. And as you breathe in and out through your nose, try to focus your breath on the right side of your body so that you feel that side of your rib cage expand on the inhale and relax back down on the exhale. Take one more big breath and we're going to move to the other side. So you can just lift your upper body up a little bit and crawl your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Stretch the left arm out as far as it'll go before folding down. And this time focusing on the left side rib cage. So can you feel your rib cage expand front to back and side to side? as well as feeling your breath travel down to your lower belly as you push into your left hip. We're really trying to stretch out of our lower backs here with this kind of pose. Two more breaths. And we'll find our way back to center. Lift up tabletop stance just for a few rounds of cat and cow. And bring your knees underneath your hips. Push into your fingertips and knuckles. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, tailbone up. Exhale, round and contract. Push the floor away from you. Drop your head. Three more rounds. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> Breathe in. Last full cycle here. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, round and contract. Come back to a neutral tabletop pose. Walk your hands a couple inches forward and shift your hips forward. Either hold here just for a few breaths in this modified plank pose, or you can tuck your toes under and find your full plank, having compassion for yourself. Not here for very long. This is really meant to be a trans, uh, transition. Just building up a little bit of heat. One more breath. And we find our downward facing dog. Push your hips up and back. Stretching everything out here. Bending your knees to curl the tailbone up. Dropping your head. And from this downward dog, let's reach our right leg up towards the sky. You can bend your knee and open up your hip. Squeeze your heel in towards your glute. Lift that knee up even higher. 
And then we're going to step forward, Virabhadrasana 1, your warrior 1. So right foot goes towards your right hand. Back heel presses down, so my back foot is at about a 45 degree angle. And then I'm lifting up with my chest and with my arms. And we're going to do something a little different with the arms here. So legs are going to stay steady and stable. They don't move. We're going to inhale to reach our arms and our upper body forward. Inhale all the way up. And then as you exhale, you're going to circle down. So breathing in, back bend, and exhale forward. Two more like this. Inhale, exhale. Last one. And exhale, stay low. Easy twist, left hand down, lift your back heel off the mat, reach your right arm up towards the sky. And now bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Walk your hands over towards the left side of your mat. You're going to pivot onto that left heel. My right foot is at a 45 degree angle skandasana. So like a half squat half side lunge and I like to have my hands out in front of me you can also just bring hands at the heart and let's move to the other side so you're gonna push into that right leg bend your left knee flex through the right foot sink down low either hands down or hands at the heart Think of pushing that left knee and left thigh open. And come all the way back forward, step back, downward facing dog. Right foot meets the left. Stretch everything out and we'll go to the second side. Left leg rises up, bend your left knee, open up your hip. Push into that right heel, lift your left knee up higher. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Left foot forward, back heel grounds down. This will help a lot with your balance. I want my hips and my shoulders, my chest to be facing forward. We're going to inhale into a back bend, lean it back. And as you exhale, tilt forward, reach your arms forward. Three more circles like this. Try to keep your legs steady. Last one here. Inhale. And the next time you're folding over, you're going to hold here. Easy twist. Right hand under your shoulder. Lift your right heel off the mat. Extend your left arm up. And we're coming to Skandasana again. So you're going to bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Pivot a little bit over to the right so that you can come up onto your right heel. My left foot is bent at around a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to sit my hips down as low as I can get them. Hands to the floor or hands to the heart. Cultivating some compassion for yourself, even through challenging poses and transitions. We'll go to the other side. Right knee bends, left leg is straight. Sink your hips down. And we'll come forward to the top of the mat finding our last downward facing dog. So left foot steps all the way back and see if you can stretch out even more here in this pose. Can you create a little bit more space between each joint? And let's bring our knees down on the floor. Let's just take a little seed child's pose. Big toes together, arms reach back, forehead down to the mat. <sighs> so 
softening into the pose, letting it go. So how does compassion apply to you right now? How is compassion relevant to your day? And you can start to curl and lift your way up. Let's take a seat. Close your eyes, hands together at your heart. And let's chant OM together. Breathe in. OM. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing this 10-minute morning yoga flow with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Remember, you can also join our Facebook group to connect with other students who are doing this challenge. And now you can head on over to part two, the flexible mind portion of this daily challenge. So I'll give you a fun little challenge themed around compassion. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 20.